Hello, this video will guide you through using Rapid Identity to contribute to the success of both schools and students. JSPS staff and student accounts will be created and authenticated through Rapid Identity. Rapid Identity is an education focused platform that will allow us to deliver seamless, secure access for all JSPS accounts. Teachers will have access to change passwords for students that are rostered to them in Infinite Campus. You can access the JSPS Rapid Identity site at jcps.me -me, forward slash ri. Let's get started. After signing into Rapid Identity, you will come to your dashboard. On your dashboard, you will see tiles that allow you to navigate to Infinite Campus, your Google Drive, your Rapid ID settings, or most importantly, your My Students. We can also access the My Students tab by selecting the drop down menu next to Dashboard and selecting People. Some STCs will see two tabs on the left hand corner My Students and STC My Students. One of the key features of Rapid Identity that we will explore in this training is the ability for teachers to manage and change passwords for students who are rostered to them in Infinite Campus. This functionality will empower educators with greater control of their digital classrooms, ensuring a smooth and secure learning experience. Let's dive into searching for students. In the My Students tab, teachers will have access to change passwords and reset pictographs for students that are rostered to them in Infinite Campus. There is a little delay between when the student gets enrolled and their information becomes available in Rapid Identity. It may take up to 48 hours for a student recently updated in Infinite Campus to appear in Rapid Identity. If you can't find a student when searching or they are not on your My Students list, don't worry, they will be there soon. If it's been over 48 hours and the student is still not in your My Students list, please submit a ticket at jcps.me forward slash ticket and please list the student email, name, or student ID. The STC My Students and the My Students tabs are very similar. In both tabs, you can reset student passwords and pictographs. The main difference between STC My Students and the My Students for students that are rostered is an STC My Students tab. You have the option to unlock locked accounts. And in the STC My Students tab, you have access to all grade levels at your location. Now let's walk through the different ways of searching for students. If you have a student that you need to look at their account, you can always search them by name. And Rapid Identity will give you a list of all of those students with that name. If you are having trouble locating a student, try searching with part of their name followed by an asterisk. This wildcard feature will help broaden your search. This technique can be particularly useful when searching for a student with two last names or two first names. As you can see, we've entered a last name and now any student with a portion of that in their name will now show up. Another option is to search a student by their student ID number, which is available in Infinite Campus, instead of their name. You can do this by clicking in the search, pasting the student ID number, and hitting enter. Only the student with that ID number will populate. If no students populate, please check to ensure that that student is currently enrolled in Infinite Campus at your location and their enrollment was completed at least 48 hours before. If you want to search or filter by grade, you can do so by following these steps. By clicking on the header in the STC My Students tab, you can sort by grade level or a name in alphabetical order or last name in alphabetical order. If you'd like to see only a certain grade, you can search by that grade using the search box. For kindergarten, we'll type in K, G, then our wildcard, enter. We will now only see kindergarten students after you have entered the grade in the search box, you can still sort by first and last name within that grade level. If you need to search by a different grade, such as fifth grade, we'll type in 05 wildcard, and now we see those students. 
when searching for the higher grades, such as 10th grade, you can just enter 10 and press enter. This is the same for 11th and 12th grade as well. Now that we know how to search for students in the My Students tab, let's proceed with the process of resetting a student's password together. Teachers and STCs can reset passwords. We can reset a password by selecting the three dots and change password next to a student's name. You will be prompted to confirm that this is the student and that you would like to change the password. If this is the correct student, select yes. Student passwords must be at least 10 characters, one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, two numbers, and special characters are not required. Once the criteria is met for the password complexity, it will turn green. Passwords must not incorporate student's name or username and should be distinctive. Students will be forced to create their own password at their next login. Whether you choose to check the box that says user must change password at the next login or not, the student will receive a prompt to create a new password at their next login. Students are not allowed to use a password they've used in their last 10 password resets. It is essential that students generate a password that is completely distinct and one of a kind. Once you've entered your password, click Save. Password updates are synchronized with Rapid Identity every minute. Please wait one to two minutes for the sync to occur before attempting the password again. It is important to note that early childhood students through third graders will have a pictograph associated with their account in addition to their password. If an early childhood through third grade student has forgot their pictograph, you can reset it by selecting the three dots, just as you would for a password reset, and select Reset Pictograph. You will have to confirm that you would like to reset this pictograph, hit yes, and now the student will have to select their three pictograph pictures again. If you're interested in viewing a video tutorial on setting up and using the pictograph sign-in, you can do so by selecting Rapid Identity at jcps.me forward slash TLC. The authentication field error is shown when there is a discrepancy in the email and the password input. As a result, the system was unable to validate the credentials for access. After a password reset, please double check for any typos or unnecessary spaces in the password. Keep in mind that passwords are case sensitive, so to be sure that the caps lock key isn't accidentally turned on. It is also common for students to mistakenly type a comma instead of a period when entering their email. Ensure that the students are entering the correct email address associated with the account. Sometimes a simple mistake in the email address can lead to login issues. Some students have a number at the end of their email. You can verify the email address in Rapid Identity or Infinite Campus. Here is an example of two students with almost the exact same email address and in the same grade level. It's very important that this is double checked when troubleshooting and resetting passwords. In the event that a student makes incorrect entries for their email or password on 10 occasions within 30 minutes, the account will be subject to a 10 minute lockout. STCs can unlock the account in Rapid Identity under the STC My Students, selecting the three dots, and unlock. To see if the account is locked, the STC can select Details, if true is displayed under the account locked field, this indicates that the account is currently locked out. The student may need a password reset as they have entered their credentials in incorrectly 10 times. When unlocking an account, it will ask you to verify that you would like to unlock the student. Hit yes and the unlock will be complete. Again, it may take a minute or two for this to reflect on the student side. Thank you for joining me on this overview on Rapid Identity. I am Nikki from the IT3 Innovation Team.